Okay, hello, welcome back to the stream. Um, we finished off the game with a crash actually and I did some research on the interwebs and I found out that you have to turn the cycles down below 10,000 and then the crash doesn't happen uh, and the game should run smooth in general. And with that we are back where we left off, back in Danzig in Germany. So let's see if we can solve the riddle of Master Lu. Just going back to the castle where we had the, the crash The so-called free city of Danzig perched precariously between Poland and Nazi Germany. How much longer will it remain free? Gosh, what a peculiar looking place. That is Slausch Pickers. What does that mean? Castle of the Ace of Spades, my dear. <laughs> Somehow the name fits. Okay, and we're back at the castle. So that was the guy that crashed the dialogue before, but I already tested it. Uh, and it seems to work now. Hello, my name is Ripley. I am called Wolf. And this, I take it, is Ace of Spades Castle. Your powers of observation do you credit, mein Herr. But the castle to the tourist is not open. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm no common tourist. And the old wheelbarrow is not shaped like the Ace of Spades. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the design of this castle is remarkable. If I never see another Ace of Spades, I could die a happy man. <laughs> is there a story behind it? Oh, he's an older man. Okay. Ooh. If there were a story, I would not offer it freely. I could pay if the story were curious enough. Mm. Oh, he's talking. Pay first. I'm afraid I neglected to change my money. And I'm afraid I have neglected <sighs> my work far too long. Damn it. <sighs> I forgot to change the money there. So... Are we going to do this right now? I think we might as well, right? I hope we're not going to see the cutscene every time we travel, but I wouldn't expect it. Oh, that's actually the backyard. That's not the way back. Um, so I guess... Hello again. Oh, I don't want to yeah. talk to him. All right. Guten Tag, Horst. Guten Tag, Herr Ripley. Give me some... I figure Deutsche Mark? Reis Mark? Uh, marks. I'd like to buy some okay. marks. <laughs> Thank you, okay. Horst. Goodbye. Auf Wiedersehen, Herr Ripley. I mean, I wonder if I should change those yarn back at some time. I'm not sure if we need that anymore, but yeah, okay. Let's just head straight back. Ace of Spades oh, we get the cutscene again. To generations of Barons von and it's not skippable. Nice. <laughs> well. Ah, okay, it's a little shorter at least. Uh, Hello again. Yeah. Sorry to bother you. I'm a busy man. Please let me work. Okay. Okay, I guess I just give him the money then. Yep. <laughs> I hope it's worth it. It was a high stakes poker game many years ago at the Baron's Club. <laughs> it is said the money on the table for that single hand would rivals the treasury of several smaller nations. <laughs> okay. The old baron drew the ace of spades to complete a royal flush and win the hand. So he built this place to honor the occasion. Just so. Uh, wow, what's that? Yeah, I hope we get more out of that. I have a letter <coughs> signed by the 6th Baron von Sautzum. You do? <laughs> I demand it be taken to him at once. P. 
pay first. Nonsense. <laughs> Already paid him. There is no one else to take you to the old baron. <sighs> oh. I guess I should look out for more stuff than to sell back to the museum. Two marks. This way. <laughs> He's not a fast walker. Ooh, spooky. Is he dead? He's dead, right? <laughs> Which is kinda cool. Otto, the sixth Baron von Selsen, mein Herr. The old Baron is dead? <laughs> Your powers of observation continue to amaze me. <laughs> when did he die? February. The Baron's son, Albert, has inherited the title. February, not long after Otto wrote me the letter. Hmm. He mentions in it he was ill. Uh. Just so. Well, I hope we can still find some clues or at least some stuff to sell. I can't skip it and I have to wait until he's out of the frame. Uh, we're not in a hurry, are we? Let's have a look at those dirty stone urns. urns filled with dirt. I don't think those are urns. Dirty stone urns filled with dirt. That must belong to the gardener. Yeah. Does that fit in my inventory? Nice, it does. Okay. Let's have a look at those. Maybe we can go. Oh, there's a bell. <laughs> Here yeah. lies an atheist, all dressed up and no place to go. <laughs> okay. Sacred to the memory of Rolf Baumgartner, who died August 6, 1800. His widow, aged 24, lives at 7 Lindenstrasse and possesses every qualification for a good wife. Wait, what? What is a strange inscription? Um, but yeah, let's first get in here. If it's, I mean, I guess it's locked, right? That tomb is certainly impressive. Ripley, get a grip on yourself. What? Ripley, get a grip on yourself. A ventilation opening. I remember reading that they're necessary to disperse certain gases. Yikes. A tomb with a doorbell? That can't be customary. Mm. I mean, I could I'll need something less unwieldy to ring the bell. What does he mean by that? Ripley, get a grip on yourself. Here lies Johann Yeast. Pardon me for not rising. Using the ladder with a tombstone, maybe? Uh, that will work. Okay. At rest beneath this slab of stone lies stingy Werner Vyatt. He died one morning just at ten and saved a dinner by it. <laughs> okay, I do want to ring the bell. I think that's for sure. I'll need something less unwieldy to ring the bell. His foot is slipped, and he did fall. Help, help, he cried. And that was all. Huh. Don't see anything suspicious. I mean, I don't want to look at all those graves, at least not without having any clue what to look for. Maybe we have to go somewhere else. That sundial suspicious. A sundial? 
Gosh. The side of the castle continues the excessive architectural theme. The side of the castle continues the excessive architectural theme. Mm -hmm. Shaped like the ace of spades. Yeah, you don't say. Mein Herr, my job is difficult enough. If you steal my tools, it will be impossible. Sorry. Okay. I can use that ladder only at the side here. Oh, do I have to go? Yeah, obviously I have to go back all the way. <laughs> Hello again. I don't want to talk yeah. to you. Can I just go in? At least Mr. This. Robert Ripley to see the Baron. Okay. <laughs> I mean, that seems important. I have a letter from his father. It's quite urgent. Please do wait in the sitting room, mein Herr. More German accent. That's what my stream needs. <laughs> Ooh. Maybe here's some stuff I can sell. Steal and sell, or buy and sell. <laughs> Mr. Ripley, von Seltzum. Now let's see if he is Seltzum. Please, yet. forgive the tennis togs. The third set was more of a struggle than I expected. You knew my father, I believe. I never had the pleasure of meeting him, I'm afraid. But by all accounts, he was quite a fellow. <laughs> Indeed. This house alone is testament to that. He wrote me this shortly before he died. Ah, you're that, Mr. Ripley. I am also a fan. Thank you. First Emperor of China, Master Lu. As you might have gathered, my father was an Orientalist of some note. It's a pity he died before he was able to pursue this line of research. <laughs> it sounds fascinating. I don't trust him. Uh, let's first try to get that. Would you be willing <laughs> to part with that unusual zebra skin? It would make a fine addition to my auditorium in New York. I'm sorry, Mr. Ripley. Oh. I'm afraid I can't. It was my father's express wish that this house and its unique accoutrement remain as you see them. And frankly, I've become quite used to them myself. I understand. No, I don't. Give it to me. Come on. Do you share your father's interest in the Orient? Hardly. Where my father's interests ran to the eccentric, mine are much more commonplace. Tennis? Sport is my life. I admit it to you. <laughs> I was captain of the fencing team at Oxford. I leave shortly for Stuttgart to try out the new Otto Union V16 designed by Dr. Porsche. Ah, the car with that ingenious pushrod in place of overhead cams. <laughs> I envy you. We have a lot in common. Until I dedicated myself to seeking out the curiosities of the world, I some was a game sportsman designer myself. Did some research? Played some ball, covered many sports as well. Then I regret that we can have so little time together. Perhaps on my return. I'd enjoy that. <sighs> Not sure if I want to tell them that I'm doing that, but... Uh, what do you know of the current political situation in the Far East? Very little, other mm -hmm. than it's heating up, much as things are here in Europe. Mm -hmm. It must be unnerving to have Herr Hitler and his brown shirts running Germany, to say the least. I take it <laughs> you're not in sympathy then with the Nazi cause. Mr. Ripley, the Nazis and their strutting counterparts in Italy and Japan are a plague that will soon spread like the Black Death itself. Unchecked, mm. they will lead us one day into the unthinkable. A second world war. <gasps> no. <laughs> I'm tackling this last quest of your father's on my own. Ah, but that's marvelous. You'll try to enter this tomb then? If mm -hmm. I can. It would certainly make for an interesting adventure. Mm. I look forward to reading about it. It's more than a story for me, Baron. There may be unscrupulous forces at work to plunder the tomb of its most dangerous treasure, the Imperial Seal. How could such an ancient artifact be dangerous today? 
It could be used to unite he the Eastern never watched Horde Indiana behind Jones. a leader thirsting for power. Mein Gott! The letter mentions a key to the tomb. Yes. Is that why you're here? What can you tell me about it? Nothing, I'm afraid. When did the first emperor of China reign? In the 3rd century BC. And they had keys back then? I suspect your father was referring to I a think key actually the to voice actor of that guy is not bad. He's got a good English and German that accent. That tablet then holds some secret to opening the tomb. Then the key my father mentioned is a key to another key? Something like that. It sounds incredibly complicated. <laughs> Lou planned it that way. The first emperor's seal of office is somewhere in the tomb. Lou had a dream that only when everybody lived in peace and harmony and shared knowledge could certain ancient hieroglyphics on his tablet be translated. Once the time was right, the tomb could be opened and sure the power that time of the first now. emperor's seal of office could be safely wielded once more. You have quite a task before you. How can I help? Um. Did your father leave behind any notes or Chinese artifacts? Hmm. Well, he didn't leave any scattered about that I've seen, but this is an unusual house in more ways than one. How do you mean? Before I was born, my father gave himself for a number of years to the pursuit of esoteric science. Inventions I mean, for there the will be some secret rooms there, right? The philosopher's stone, the secrets of alchemy, the usual. <laughs> he wasn't successful in his efforts. Unfortunately, no. Changing lead into gold would be a handy skill. Don't I know it. <laughs> to assist him in his research, he had a laboratory built somewhere in this house. And although as a boy I recall the occasional unpleasant chemical odor emanating from somewhere, I've never been able to locate it. Mm -hmm. He lost okay. interest quite suddenly. Just oh, as I thought. Almost 15 years ago now. Did your father have a favorite room where he did most of his work? Oddly enough, on those rare occasions when he was at home, he spent most of his time in the billiards room. It was <laughs> his sanctuary. He'd go there of an evening, puff one of his vile cigars and work, or play. Your father played billiards? My nope. father played everything. <laughs> Games and puzzles were his passion. But not yours? A sportsman like yourself? Games are for children. What I love about sport is the physical endeavor, the strain of the muscles as much as the stretching of the mind. Yeah, the no, that's action, not for me. If you will. The measure I of stick physical to exertion games. required to strike a stationary ball with a cue or to advance a backgammon pip is negligible. The thrill isn't there. Hardly. I take it you don't smoke. I did, briefly. But despite all the scientists who tell us smoking improves our health, I found it reduced my wind. Not something one can afford on the tennis court or polo field. Perhaps I'm the unfortunate exception to the rule. Actually, I don't smoke either. My father has a small desk in the billiards room. Nice You're that you get these anti-smoking messages I should in the warn game. you about the billiards room. Why? Is it haunted? Not haunted. Cursed. Oh. Say, this might be in your line of country. Have you heard of the Romanov Emerald? <laughs> the Russian crown jewel? Of course. What do you know of its history? It disappeared along with many of the other crown jewels during the revolution of 1917. It came into my father's possession in 1920. Mm -hmm. The emerald is supposed to be cursed. Any who possess it are doomed to bad luck, yeah, failure, let me put even that in my Tsar Peter II, his son Paul, Alexander II, all were slain while it was in their possession. And of course, thanks to the Bolsheviks, Nicholas II met with the same fate. The emerald has hung like the sword of Damocles above this house for 15 years. I believe it is, I take it. at least in part, responsible for my father's own illness and death. Hmm. A fabulous jewel like that would make a terrific addition to my auditorium. <laughs> Unfortunately, yeah. my funds are rather limited at present. If I could, I would present it to you. If you could? Despite the fact its evil influence is most strongly felt there, the emerald is not inside the billiards room. At least nowhere I can find. Mm -hmm. Mr. Ripley, with nice. Hitler's power growing daily, Pomerania yeah. may need she all its luck to survive. Yeah. The sooner that stone is beyond our borders, the better. You want me to have a look round for the jewel? Exact. Okay, I'm fine with that. 
Our interesting discussion has already detained me far too long. I must not miss the train to Stuttgart. Feel free to search for this key, as you call it, but also, if you can, find the emerald too. What do you want to do, do in Stuttgart? Find it, I would urge you to dispose of it as rapidly as you are able, else the curse attach itself to you. Yeah, sure. Thank you, Baron, for your hospitality and your help. I'll do what I can. So we're looking for a secret lab. Fritz, I'm off. That might be in the billiard room and for the emerald. That also might be in the secret lab, though. And we want to go inside the mausoleum. Is this called mausoleum in English? Not sure. <laughs> the graveyard thing. Okay, yeah, we've heard the sound effects. Okay, let's look at the journal. That seems rather suspicious. A library table. There's a journal here written by the young Baron. Hmm. Notes on the latest racing cars, clippings of the tennis tournament he won. The oh, Baron needs no. his journal to recount his adventures in the world of sport. Okay, so... That's just the window. Battle axe, yeah. I need a battle axe, obviously. Is there some, something lying beneath the sofa? They're bolted to the wall. Aww. Medieval weapons don't do me much good anyway. <laughs> I would disagree. The sofa looks comfortable enough to sleep on. There seems to be something sticking out from uh, underneath ha. it. You knew it. Pick it up. Ooh, uh, we got more German money. Awesome. Goodness gracious, it's a 50 million mark note. Unfortunately, today it's as worthless as Confederate currency. I'm told doctors use these during the Great War as prescription blanks. <laughs> I mean, I could put it on display anyway, right? Americans would be interested in seeing something like that, I guess. Okay, can we steal the zebra skin? <laughs> While it would make a nice companion for my cow with the spot shaped like Ireland, the Baron has explained it must remain in the castle. Yeah. I'll respect his wishes. For whatever reason, I mean, I could look at these bookshelves and see if we find a book we can pull out to open a secret passage. Oldest trick in the book. <laughs> um, yeah, we might do as well. I mean, we are here. So. An impressive collection of books in many languages. Most of them appear to be science texts or about the Orient. Mm -hmm. An impressive collection of books in many languages. Most of them appear to be science texts okay, or about the Orient. All the same. An impressive collection of books in many languages. An impressive collection of books okay. in many languages. Most well, check out the billiard room then, I guess. Billiard room, okay. Just go straight ahead. Neptune on, you guessed it, a large ace of spades playing card. <laughs> the old Baron's writing desk. Can we open that? Ah, ha. Huh. Nice. I wonder what's in there. Uh, open it. Ooh, stuff, stuff for me. I'll take this. Great Caesar's ghost. It's addressed to me. Yep. Pick it up. <laughs> and I also want to take the keys, obviously. Those are always handy. And I want to pick up whatever this is. This is no time to play the fool. Okay. A few papers referring to household matters. Oh, okay. I guess we don't need that then. Um, I think it makes sense to look at the letter first, right? No, that's not what I meant. <laughs> Open it. Mr. Ripley, this interesting item came into my possession quite by accident last year while I was in China. I thought it might amuse you. 
To the best of my knowledge, it is the cheapest stamp ever struck, worth but 4 thousandths of one of your American pennies. Please accept it with my compliments. I look forward to meeting you in person soon to plan our great adventure tackling the mysteries of the First Emperor's Tomb. Signed, Otto, 6th Baron von Seltzer. Okay. I would have enjoyed seeing this thing through with you, Baron. I'm sorry it wasn't meant to be. So we didn't get that. Worth only a fraction of a cent. Oh. How wonderful. <laughs> so that could also be something to put on display, maybe. Okay, let's check out the mirror. Golly! <laughs> Maybe the room's unlucky after all. Seven years bad luck. Can I get that some won't shots? Work. No, okay. A dartboard cabinet, just like the one at my favorite pub on 2nd Avenue. Locked. Well, I do have keys. None of the keys fit. Oh, huh. uh, well, I didn't have time for darts anyway. Ah, you have all the time you need. Come on. Everything necessary for a challenging game of billiards. Oh. None of the keys fit. What? I prefer pocket billiards myself. <laughs> a vertical rack of billiard balls with a hole at the top. I, I want that. Ripley, get a grip on yourself. So you can't do that. The keys really don't fit. None here. of the keys fit. Okay. I prefer pocket billiards myself. The cabinet is closed. <laughs> Locked. <laughs> Do the keys fit here? Yay! <laughs> so I would expect some card games to be in here. I'm not okay. thinking. Parcheesi, Mahjong, Chinese checkers, and that new game Monopoly. Hm, it's rather fun. I wonder if it'll catch on. <laughs> games cabinet draw. Locked. Seriously. <laughs> okay, just what I thought. The Can't deck be. is incomplete. Useless for playing games. Yep, but do pick it up. The deck is incomplete. Useless for playing games. E. The Ace of Spades is missing from this deck of cards. Okay, so I find the Ace of Spades and put it in the drawer, maybe? I mean, this painting is painted on an Ace of Spades, right? Maybe I can take it. Ripley, get a grip on yourself. Let's have a look at the table then. The billiard table's a beauty. Used to play a little eight ball myself when I was a lad. Okay, we take the ball. Okay. So I could imagine we have to put three balls on the three red dots. The billiard table's a beauty. Used to play a little eight ball myself when I was a lad. And he's just putting it down at the same position. So either we need more of those or it's something completely different. A table with a lamp on it. This is no time to play the fool. Maybe turn You can't do that. Okay, let's have a look at the lamp and I think then we're about... The lamp illuminates every corner of the billiard table. The person in that portrait looks familiar. Hmm. Okay, I'll check something. Well, I'm not sure if there's more to do here. Oh, we have the note, we have the banknote. What's written in the journal, though? I have that. I don't need a yeah, sketch of it. I know. Journal is still completely empty. No, oh, there are 
has some locations. Okay, I could. Ah, that's a. This is no time to play the fool. Maybe. An uncomfortable looking chair of hard wood. I'm not thinking. Oh, I tried that already. Uh, push this the table. is no time to play the fool. The carpet is not interactable. A table with a lamp on it. And another chair. An uncomfortable looking chair of hard wood. Uh, okay. I would want to get that rack though. Can I smash the window? Seems a little. This is no time to play the fool. <laughs> huh. Okay, well. Maybe that's all we can do here now. Herr Ripley, I happened to look into the billiards room just now. I saw you take one of the balls. Please to leave the ball where you found it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> All right. No problem. But maybe you can be of any help if we talk to you. Did the Baron give you any instructions about me? Yeah, mein Herr. You may explore the grounds, and you may have access to any rooms downstairs where the old Baron worked. That would be the sitting room and the billiards room. If the old Baron left any notes, they would be most likely in one of those. Your <laughs> new master told me about a secret laboratory. It was built before my time. I do not know where it is, mm -hmm. but I doubt it is in the upper reaches of the castle. I would have noticed. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, so we do want to get upstairs, obviously. So we get uh, have to get rid of him. Maybe this pursues I'd him. I better hang on to that for now. Mm. I'd better hang on to that for now. Do you want a lot of money? I'd better <laughs> hang on to that for now. <laughs> Let's have another look at the room over here. A library table. There's a journal here written by the young Baron. Hmm. Notes on the latest racing cars, clippings of the tennis tournament he won. Oh, nothing here concerning the old Baron, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. The Baron's coat of arms contains the Ace of Spades. <laughs> Who would have guessed? They're bolted to the wall. Man, Medieval okay. weapons don't do me much good anyway. Shouldn't be too hard. If there wasn't an Ace of Spades in the windows, I would have been disappointed. Okay. They would need chandeliers that big to light this room at night. What would the wall of a castle be without some poor decapitated beast hung on it? <laughs> okay. We got a rug, but we can't interact with it. This is no time to play the fool. Yeah, oh well, whatever. So do we have something to ring the bell? I don't think that we are going to use the keys there. I mean, we only used one of those keys, right? So it might open something else, but it. Hmm. I mean, I would want to check if it can open the door to the mausoleum, but. Uh... Oh, nice. Okay, he's gone. Oh, we can go to the top. The old wheelbarrow is not shaped like the Ace of Spades. Yeah, okay, whatever.
Oh, maybe now I can take the ladder and keep it. Ah, damn it, I think he's here. No, he isn't. He is. Uh, I try this. I'm not thinking. Okay. Well, maybe he's got something new to say. Did the old Baron ever speak of a key to a tomb? Yeah, he did. I carry it. I would pay handsomely to see it. <laughs> there is no need to pay, mein Herr. I offer you a look for free. Okay. Wait a second. Which tomb are we talking about? <laughs> there is only the one tomb in this graveyard, mein Herr. Ah. Do you know why I carry this key with me always? I expect it will cost me to find out. <laughs> Man must eat. <laughs> One of us will be able to at any rate. Yeah, just pay him. That's fine. We still got some left. <laughs> I mean, we're really throwing out the money. First in China and now here. The old Baron was terrified about being buried alive. The bell, it is a premature burial alarm. The Undertaker built the coffin with a hole, for air, you see, and for the rope to enter. The end of the rope lies clasped tightly in the Baron's cold, stiff hand. If the bell rings, I have this key to unlock the door at once. Do you believe he was buried alive and could still awaken after all these weeks? The Baron was a very remarkable man. <laughs> okay, so if I can make this, that bell ring, he's going to open the tomb. Maybe I can use the shovel to do that. Oh, come on, hurry up. <laughs> okay, give me that etter. That should work. I mean, it looked like it was long enough there. <laughs> Ooh, wasn't me. <laughs> Do not meddle with the bell, mein Herr. <laughs> it is disrespectful to the old bear. Sorry. Yeah, you should be. Okay. That's weird. Why would I want to ring the bell then? Or I mean, if I was able to hide or something, I have an idea. Maybe if we we go over here. At rest beneath this slab of stone lies stingy Werner Viet. He died one yeah. morning just at 10 oh, and saved a dinner by it. It's not working. Yeah, yeah. You again! I should have guessed. No respect. <laughs> I mean, maybe I just have to do it often enough eh? and he gets annoyed or I just crash open the door. This is no time to play the fool. I'll need something less unwieldy to ring the bell. Okay, so this way I can. A ventilation yeah. opening. This is no time to play the fool. Yep, let's get up there. A ventilation opening. Okay, maybe open it. Oh, that wasn't that hard. And now... <laughs> now what? Ah, uh -huh, okay. Yeah, I mean... All I can really see from this angle is that wooden beam that runs the length of the tomb. 
and a rope hanging down next to it. Okay. Oh, no, 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 why don't... How did that help? Maybe I can get a bit of view from the other one. Okay, that's not working. I mean, I thought I might just use the shovel through the crate, but I mean, what's the difference there? not doing that mm -mm. okay that didn't do anything okay so there's a string yeah right it goes through there but how does that help and there are some hmm. I mean that information has to mean something it was difficult enough to acquire it Maybe if we use it at the wall. That's quite a stone wall. <laughs> I wonder why it was built so high. To keep someone out or to keep something in? I don't need the ladder to climb over the wall. There's a perfectly good gate. <laughs> Do I take a second look? Huh. <laughs> I'm just going to annoy him a little more. I mean, I could just start digging graves open, but... <laughs> what? Have you nothing better to do? Nope. Actually, I don't. <laughs> Old man, mein Herr, please! <laughs> I have enough work to tire me without running here because of your foolishness. Oh man, I'm feeling a little sorry for him now. <laughs> uh, maybe it's a good idea to save the game again. Yep. No, 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 what are you doing? Ripley, get a grip on yourself. Yeah. Baron, when he returns, you will not be allowed to set foot on the grounds again. I mean, there's so much dialogue here that I feel that it might change some at some point. You have escaped from the asylum. Play your games, <laughs> ring it all you like. I will not come running here again. I think that's actually maybe what I want, that he's not coming over here again. <laughs> not sure though. So maybe if we are inside we can get, we can move the body and without him running up here. Yeah, I think that kind of makes sense. Now, how can I get in there? He's got a key. How am I going to pursue him to hand that over? You can't do that. Okay, so I guess I'm going to keep this then. Oh, do, do. just dig up that grave. I'm not thinking. Well. Okay, so he doesn't want to take me the ladder, but he has no problems. 
Got the shovel. Mein Herr, my job is difficult enough. If you steal my tools, ah, it will okay. be impossible. Sorry. Well, I tried to put it back, but I didn't know how. Let's see. Hello again. <laughs> yeah. Don't think I'm that's Robert necessary. Ripley. Yeah. You know the name? Nine. <laughs> Mm, okay. Perhaps I'll talk to you later, if I may. As you wish, mein Herr. Even casual conversation with Wolf could put a serious dent in my bank account. <laughs> that won't work. I'd better hang on to that for now. Okay, I mean, I don't think I have to search the flower beds, uh, but let's see what happens if we go down to Danzig. There may be more. Ah, well, okay, that's yeah. That Guten Tag, easy. Horst. Guten Tag, Herr Ripley. There is a message for you. Huh? Mr. Ripley, sir, we need oddities. Customers going to Central Park to watch ducks instead of coming here. Yeah. Bills past due. Feng Li low on candles. Help. Sincerely, Feng Li. <laughs> He's always complaining. I'd like to get a message to the Danzig chief of police. I'm curious to learn exactly how the last Baron von Seltzum died. You suspect mm. foul play? No, but certain events make the timing of the Baron's death troubling. Can you get a message to the chief of police? Leave it to me, Herr Ripley. Okay. Maybe I can send some of my stuff over to the auditorium. I'd like to send a parcel to New York. Auf jeden Fall, Herr Ripley. <laughs> well, that's a big parcel. Wherever he did get it will that. leave on the first plane out tomorrow. Okay, and I'd like to send to a parcel to New York. Auf jeden Fall, Herr Ripley. It will leave on the first plane out tomorrow. Nice. Okay. Thank you, Horst. Goodbye. Auf Wiedersehen, Herr Ripley. So this Ace of Spades Castle was home to generations useless. of Barons von Seltzer. I mean, it would be really cool if you had some options menu or uh, yeah whatever where you could see how much money you have and how much your stuff makes hello again but i guess if you yeah. go back to new york you can get that information okay yeah i mean those are the windows castle flower beds the sundial is still a little interesting but not sure currently what i should do with that so let's check back inside the castle Okay, to do this again. <laughs> Can you think of anything say? else that might help me? Nine. <laughs> It's really annoying that we can't take that ace of spades out there and put it in cabinet drawer. And it's still weird that we... <clears throat> I mean, we had to use There's the There's a drawer in the games cabinet. There's a drawer in the games cabinet. This is no time to play the fool. Hmm. 
I mean, what kind of mechanism would work that way? That I just put in a card? <laughs> the deck is incomplete. Useless for playing games. Oh, I have to use it? No, that didn't do anything. That just closed it. I mean, the billiard table's a beauty. Used to play a little eight ball myself when I was a lad. Okay, but I can't get to the ball rack. You don't need that. Ripley, get a grip on yourself. <laughs> but I want to. And and that's locked, right? Locked. And unable to open None it. of the keys fit. Oh, well, I didn't have time for darts anyway. So we got the one ball here. Can we put... Hmm. That in the ball rack? That won't work. Nope. We could put it in the drawer, maybe. Don't ask me what that would make sense, but. That won't work. Nope. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Throw it against the This land. is no time to play the fool. I mean, I don't have any things here, right? I can just put it on the table and it will go back where it started. You can't do that. <laughs> I feel like I'm still missing something. Okay, we got the drawer here. Put the ball in. Maybe I can destroy the painting. I wonder what's in there. Why? There's nothing left, right? Besides those notes. That won't work. Hmm. You can't do that. A few papers referring to household matters. No. That won't work. Okay, so I can't take this with me. Now it's the question, do I need to take this with me? Or do I need to get something else inside of this room? Either way, I have no clue. I mean, we haven't tried to get upstairs. I'm sorry, mein Herr. Yeah. Into that part of the castle you may not go. I figured that much. Hmm. Something on the rock. The motif is tiresomely familiar. You can't do that. An old and dusty portrait. Another von Seltzer, I suspect. <laughs> I mean, that door looks really suspicious, but... Can't get over there yet. The section of wall the door is set into is not an ace of spades, but there are spades carved into it. I mean, I could try to bribe him, but... <laughs> I'd better hang on to that for now. I'd better hang on to that for now. I'd better hang on to that for now. Nope. Hmm, and I think we really thoroughly checked the sitting room. The chairs and sofa constitute an island of comfort in this cold room. We weren't able to pick up or use the journal, right? That wasn't anything interesting. That won't work. There are no single books. <laughs> hmm. Okay. I feel like I'm a little stuck here. I mean, I wonder if there is any part of the game where you have to change location. So, for example, if I have to go to New York now or somewhere else, but... 
I wouldn't expect it to be that way. I wouldn't like it to be that way because that makes stuff l more complicated. I feel like getting into the mausoleum might help or be the next thing I should Hello be again. doing. Yeah. I mean, I don't have many items that seem to be doing much. An inexplicable oversight has left the bush looking relatively normal. <laughs> the windows are shaped like the ace of spades. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I could check all those I grains, promise but... never to marry again, Jacob. Well, a Celtic cross. Oh, that's also. I started out in life with the idea that the world had an opening for me. It would be more seemly to simply sketch the epitaphs. <laughs> I'm not thinking. He's not even trying to open the door. <laughs> okay. Well, we can look inside. Which didn't give us much information. We got the gardener annoyed to the point where he's not coming if I'm ringing the bell. But I don't know how that would help us currently. I mean, I could try, after doing that, I could try to open it up again and maybe use the shovel from the inside. I'm not sure what that would do, but... Who knows? Okay. Put that back there. Use it. Oh, we got some sound glitch, I think. Sounds rather obnoxious. Okay. It stopped, at least. Okay, that's not working. <laughs> Okay, I have another look inside. Maybe I get a clue, and if not, I might resort to a walkthrough. All I can really see from this angle is that wooden beam that runs the length of the tomb and a rope hanging down next to it. Yep, I mean... Why are you not trying to look through the other one then? Maybe we get Ripley, get a grip on yourself. This is no time to play the fool. <laughs> that won't work. Still placing it on the left side. Yeah. <coughs> okay, that's how we get that way. Okay, so just give me a second. I'm going to look at a walkthrough. I'm really stuck here. Okay, well, that seems weird. I thought we had already done that, but we should touch a painting that looks like an ace of spades, which I Hello think again. should be the one in the billiard room. Yeah. We, didn't we use that? Maybe we only looked at it and used all our items on it, but not just used the thing itself. Weird. There aren't any other paintings, right? I 
Let's look at those first. An old and dusty portrait. Another von Seltzer, I suspect. An old and dusty portrait. Another von Seltzer, I suspect. <laughs> this is no time to play the fool. So that's the not... person in that portrait looks familiar. But how? You can't do that. Mm -hmm. There weren't any port. Ah, there are. Oh no, there aren't any portraits here. Okay, let me have another look. I'm confused. It says, touch Ace of Spades on wall to left of Neptune painting. I haven't seen any Neptune painting. Ah, maybe not the image of the Ace of Spades, but was there an Ace of Spades maybe painted on the wall or something? And I missed that hotspot. Ah, uh, okay. Oh. This is no time to play the fool. I didn't see that one pixel here. <laughs> wow. Okay. I think it's good that I looked at the walkthrough. I would never found that. Let's get all the stuff here. You don't need that. Hmm? Well, I guess we have a look first. Got some cigars in there. Let's take one of those, or maybe all of those. Mm. An ashtray. Um, pull that. The lighter must be out of fluid. Okay. You can't do that. Push this. Oh, why can't I push the red button? Okay. Huh? Two holes. An ashtray. I know I don't smoke, but cigarettes certainly make you look sophisticated. <laughs> I wonder if they're as good for your health as the scientists claim. Well, that looks at least like something. I might put the the billiard. Uh, Ball in there. Okay, can I just I'll really leave. That won't work. Just the black button? Oh, okay. I mean I didn't mean to actually close it, but yeah, whatever. Okay, get that. Now push that tiny, tiny bit switch here. Okay. <laughs> Did that do any good? Rolling. Oh. Well, it sounded like something had changed. Do you see anything on the table here? Curious. The table suddenly seems to be on an angle. Ah, okay. Push it. Ooh, there's a secret door. <laughs> nice. Mm-hmm. 
Let me take all that stuff. <laughs> One of the few things in this incredible room I recognize, that's a length of ordinary garden hose. <laughs> a handle with tapered wooden ends and a threaded hole in its metal center. Let me get that. Maybe I can bribe the gardener with a hose. But I also want everything else. Those rendered images, I haven't dated that well. I feel like the game is a little sluggish on the lower cycles. But I mean, that's better than the game crashing, right? Okay, we got lots of stuff to maybe build some kind of machinery here. That all looks very complicated. I wonder if there's maybe some instructions. That isn't going to work. Mm -hmm. Open the door. That isn't going to work. Mm -hmm. Ceiling piston bracket. Glass jar, small gear wheel, faucet pipe sink. Work table pump, so I might put that on the faucet or maybe the hose. Okay, that seems to work. Not sure what it's doing though. Okay. <laughs> and now. Use the garden hose. That won't work. Turn it on and see what happens. <laughs> There's no pump handle. And let's put that there. I mean, I'm just guessing here, but... No, it's not the air here. is escaping. The pressure isn't building up. Okay, I have to put the rubber that isn't gonna work. plug with something. Maybe the jar? Oh, huh. I'm so smart. <laughs> There's nothing happening though. The air is escaping. The pressure isn't building up. Okay, maybe I'm not that smart. Let's take the piston, maybe. It's firmly in place. But Nozzles? Where are they? It's firmly in place. That won't work. Ah, we got him. We might have to. I worked so that. hard to do that. I think I'll leave things the way they are. Really? The air valve? Mm hmm. Looks like a tank of compressed air. It's connected to that pump. Okay, and that is going to the air valve, but the air valve is not keeping... There is an air valve on the ah. table. Okay. There is an air valve on the table. Can I push them? I don't know. Ripley, get a grip on yourself. Is the keys? 
Really there is an air valve on the table. Yeah. It's not a single hotspot here. So I'm not even able to interact. There are two brass nozzles protruding through the tabletop. Mm hmm Yeah, if you say so. The sink has been stained with countless chemicals. What on earth is that? A metal rod of some sort with a serrated tip bent at a 90 degree angle. The other end is to get a grip on yourself. Okay, I can push it. Can I take it? Oh, I can. <laughs> so I guess that gets some uh, ceiling piston maybe or bracket I guess. That will work. Mm hmm I need something to secure it with. Yeah. Okay. There has to be more stuff lying around somewhere. We have a look at the this periodic list. table. I had to memorize every last one of the elements when I was a boy. It's the kind of useless knowledge schools insist on cramming yeah, cramming into your brain. Armored cabinet. An armored steel cabinet with no sign of a keyhole or any mechanism for opening it. Okay. A metal rod runs from a piston in the ceiling through the top of the cabinet. Okay, I can open this thing when I get the machinery running. A steel door. It reminds me of the hatch on a warship or a bank vault door. Can I open that? That isn't going to work. I thought for sure that might work, but it won't. <laughs> Table pivot? What's that then? It's some sort of pivot bolted to the tabletop. Uh, well, if it's bolted, I don't think I can do much with it. A thick glass bottle with many curious features. It's girded with an iron support of some kind. There are three small holes set in its sides. The largest opening is at the top. About the only thing unremarkable about it is the familiar shape. <laughs> Say, what's that at the bottom of the glass? Uh huh, okay. Well, it's firmly in place. That isn't gonna work. Oh, I want Get me the emerald cock. That will work. Okay, use the emerald cock. That isn't gonna work. Okay, that doesn't actually help. Okay. I mean, I have to drive this piston to move this over and do stuff. So my main problem is still that the valve is open, so I should just close it, but not going to do that. Ah, I need something that will work. Place inside. There was a hole, right? I was wonder what experiments that eccentric old gentleman conducted at this table. Feel like I'm missing quite a few parts still. Where could I probably get those? I mean, I don't think that I've unlocked something outside of this room. Still not sure if this is doing anything here. Uh, I would expect the... Ah, the hose might need to get in that hole, but... Okay, do I pick up the hose, maybe? Ripley, if you do that, you'll get water all over the place. Uh, okay, I guess... Maybe. Ripley, get a grip on yourself. Turn it off first. Take the hose. Is he removing it? Damn it, he removed it, right? 
Maybe put it in here first. Ripley, get a grip on yourself. Okay, that's not where it's going. Maybe on here. Ripley, get a grip on yourself. Nope. The pump itself. <laughs> I worked so hard to do that. I think I'll leave things the way they are. I worked hard to rig that. I'll leave it where it is for now. I thought for sure that might work, but it won't. <laughs> that won't work. I wonder what experiments that eccentric old gentleman conducted at this table. There is an air valve on the table. So it says open. <laughs> Something, maybe the key? I thought for sure that might work, but it won't. Nope. Can I use money to... That won't work. Mm -mm. Hmm. I worked hard to rig that. Mm. I'll leave it where it is for now. Hmm. Okay, maybe there are different configurations. I mean, just because I, it's, I'm able to put it there doesn't mean that it's right. Because that felt a little unnecessary. I mean, I could probably put this there and the garden hose over there. Oh, okay, he is doing stuff. So maybe there, I'll... the surgical tube is connecting the two nozzles. Okay, so now maybe there's pressure here. Mm. The air is escaping. The pressure isn't building up. I need to find a, a switch or a handle or something. The sink has been stained with countless chemicals. Mm. Maybe if I pick that up. Oh, okay, you can get that. Mm, though it looks weird. Does that fit on there? Oh, you might just try as well. Oh, the it does. The faucet handle fits snugly on the air valve. Nice, uh, then turn it. The air valve is closed. Ah. Oh, well, I'm okay. Making I worked some so progress. hard to do that. Yeah. I think I'll leave things the way they are. Use those. Okay. Now something happening here? Ah. Still, nope. The tank is full of air. Ah, okay. Uh. So. Uh. <laughs> what are we supposed to do now? Use the tank? I worked hard to rig that. I'll leave it where it is for now. Ripley, get a grip on yourself. Is this on the piston? I worked so hard to do that. I think I'll leave things the way they are. Uh... Can I put that somewhere? I worked so hard no. to do that. I think I'll leave things the way Ripley, they are. Ripley, get a grip on yourself. Hmm. Hmm. 
I wonder what experiments that eccentric old gentleman conducted at this table. What was that again? It's some sort of pivot bolted to the tabletop. Can I put that on there? Uh -huh. Oh. Uh. Okay, let's try this again. <laughs> the tank is already full of air. Um, okay, so are we using the handle then? Uh huh. Oh, uh, ooh, something's happening. But that didn't do much. Ah, maybe I should actually. Why did I put that on top of that? The emerald might have just dropped out. A huge emerald set in a brooch. The brooch pin is stuck in a cork. The accursed Romanov emerald. I found it. Aha, uh -huh. okay. That's that. Ugh. Can Ripley, get a grip on yourself. What's the problem there? I mean... I worked so hard to do that. I think I'll leave things the way they are. Can we Ripley, get under? a grip on oh. yourself. What was it? There was some iron... Iron support. What's that? There's a tiny hole in the iron near the neck of the bottle. Didn't I put the thing in there? That won't work. What's that for? Ugh, yikes. Do I have to remember that? Okay, I'm just doing that some isn't gonna work. trial and error here. I mean, I worked hard to rig that. I'll leave it where it is for now. <laughs> what? What the hell are you doing? What is that supposed to do? <laughs> uh, okay, I guess I turn this then. The Some air buttons. valve is closed. I mean, uh, maybe it uh, the, the emerald doesn't yank around but go through the tube. The tank is full of air. Or something. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> well, it's a little far-fetched for my taste, but we got the emerald. At last, the Romanov emerald. What a great cartoon feature it would make. <laughs> okay. Though, I mean, that's great and all, but how does that help us? Well, maybe now stuff has changed outside or something. I worked hard to rig that. I'll leave it where it is for now. Yeah, I, I, I do want to leave though. <laughs> oh, do I need some other machinery stuff to leave? Maybe. It's 
firmly in place. I can't get that. Yes, I do. Okay, so I guess, I mean, the problem with this was I didn't have anything to bolt it up there. Maybe oh, the cigar and the emerald, the cork, maybe. Ah, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. you can't do that. I mean, it seems a little far fetched. I need be. something to secure it with. Cork shouldn't do this, right? That isn't going to work. Nope. Okay. I mean, we can get the periodic table out of there again, but. I wouldn't expect that to help us here either, though I didn't expect it to help there either. So just going to try it. Maybe the pump grips. No, that won't work. The cigar. I worked hard to rig that. <laughs> I'll leave it where it is for now. Just need. Well, I, I, I could use those steel rods uh, that we left there back in China. But I'm afraid that's a little too late. So what, okay, so first off, how are we going to use this? I mean, this is not connected Ripley, to get anything a grip on yourself. If we want to power that piston. Ripley, get a grip on yourself. That won't work. Just pull this. That won't work. Hmm. <laughs> Ripley, get a grip on yourself. I mean, it's the only new thing I, I thought have. for sure that might work, but it won't. That won't work. That won't work. You can't do that. You can't do that. You can't do that. You can't do that. That won't work. <laughs> eh. Ah, okay. What did that do? Do we get any more information here? The curse of the Romanov. Oh, he was fast drawing this, oh, but I can't read that. I don't think it's. You can't do that. I mean, that looks weird, right? There's still something attached on there. Ripley, get a grip on yourself. Would, what? Huh? What did that the do? The iron clamp is unlocked. Hmm. OK. 
Okay. <lacht> äh, sure. Why not? Does this go on these bolts? Ripley, get a grip on yourself. Nope. Maybe up there. Ripley, get a grip on yourself. Nope. I mean, can we get the gear as well, maybe? Put that up there. It's firmly in place. Okay, nope. The large one neither, right? It's firmly in place. <laughs> that won't work. That could that looked like the the rendering, maybe like a rod or something. I mean, if we don't need the pressure anymore, maybe. Uh, I'm at a loss here, but maybe we can put this in there somehow. I thought for sure that might work, but it won't. Nope. Hmm. You can't do that. Hmm. Ah. There's a rod. Okay. <laughs> Quite a sophisticated puzzle here. Now I think we got it, right? Yes. Okay, still not sure what we are going to do with that, but put it over here. Okay, and what does this do over here? And how can we even... What? How is that? <laughs> uh, okay. How is that even working? Um. Hmm. I mean, the one thing that we haven't used yet is still the garden hose, so... That will work. Nope. Is there the cork down there? Nope. Uh, maybe we need uh, these things again, the tube. <laughs> that sound effect. I mean, I guess we, we, we fill this I thought with for something. sure that might work, but it won't. <laughs> Ah, okay, so if this is full of water, it might push this down and open this cabinet, right? I think that's what we're supposed to do here. Um, okay, can we get the water all the way over there? Maybe now he's allowing me to do that. So put this back on over here. Use this one on this. Now maybe Come I worked so hard to do that. I think I'll leave things the way they are. Uh, no, you should not take it off. That won't work. Huh. You can't do that. Okay. Yeah, okay, I guess that makes sense that it doesn't trip out. That won't work. Hmm. Okay, we still got the grips. I mean, we, we guess we can just take the handle there to open the sink. I'm still curious what the metal door here. Um, and maybe if we 
push this, this is the mechanism to open the door. Uh, that would also make sense. Uh, do we need to put the periodic table back in there? Or use that with a You can't hose? do that. Oh, we got the, ru the rubber plug, but we we want this to be open, right? Maybe not. No. Ripley, get a grip on yourself. Nope. Oh, but there's a new hotspot now. What? Lever key? No. There. Draw a cord. I thought for sure that might work, but it won't. Nope. Draw a rubber plug. Ripley, get a grip on yourself. Is that a different plug? Oh, that's one on the side. Uh, maybe that's where we... I worked hard to rig that. I'll <sighs> leave it where it is for now. That won't work. <laughs> I mean, maybe we're doing it the other way around. So we combine these first. Okay, that also works. Uh huh. Maybe we go from right to left. I thought for sure that might work, but it won't. I thought for sure that might work, but it won't. A thick glass bottle with many curious features. Can I use it? Ripley, get a grip on yourself. Maybe remove the cork, maybe that was wrong. And that's where the hose goes. <laughs> You can't do that. You can't do that. Ripley, get a grip on yourself. Nope. Hmm. <laughs> I want to get this finished with. Hmm. So, I mean. Okay, we still have this. I mean, oh, what is what is that doing? I worked hard to rig that. I'll leave it. I work. worked so hard to do that. I think I'll leave things the way they are. We plug it, maybe. Put everything on there. Ripley, get a grip on yourself. Ripley, get a grip on yourself. I thought for sure that might work, but it won't. <sighs> it's really annoying. Um, can we just <laughs> destroy this? Oh, okay. You're really unassembling of the. Okay, so maybe we can use this with the hose. Aha. Uh -huh. So, and we could just put that on top uh, here. But how we, do we fit it with water? Or can we still use the hose and put it on there? I worked hard to rig that. I'll leave it where it is for now. Uh, oh, I think I misclicked. Ah. Uh, faucet stem. Ugh. No, no, why do you remove this? Is this the correct 
does he have to do it this way? Ah, okay. Yeah, I mean, that looked almost believable. But I think we are making real progress here. And we might be able to fill this thing up then. Okay. Ooh. Baron, you were one very strange man. Yeah, and that puzzle didn't make a lot of sense to me, but whatever. Ooh, what about the frame rate here? That's really slow. <laughs> it wouldn't be a real laboratory without a microscope. I don't wanna increase the cycles though, in case it crashes again. It's addressed to the old Baron. So we're just going to keep it. Otto Baron von here. Seltzum, Schloss Picas, Free City of Danzig, February 26, 1936. My dear Baron, as you are aware, I have been conducting a series of excavations at what I had presumed to be a Stone Age pre Inca settlement outside of Lima. However, I have recently located a stele carved into what appears to be a city wall. Of course, I was simply amazed when I realized that I had stumbled across an organized civilization that predates the Inca in Tehuantinsuyu by at least 1,200 years, if not more. I am delighted to report that I was able to decipher several sequences from this stele. I'll allow you to read the exact details when I publish my findings in the literature. <laughs> but since you have requested that I immediately forward any information that could be related to Master Lu, I can share a few points now. If I'm correct, the stele describes the existence of at least three other settlements within Tehuantinsuyu, each <laughs> dedicated to First an animal deity. The stele tells that one site was dedicated to the condor, another to the snake, another to the spider, and the last to the Ooh, monkey. Spider. I am almost certain that my current excavation site is dedicated to the condor. Further, it seems that these people were also adept astronomers, and like the Inca after them, they constructed ritual observatories where they would worship at intervals based on the movement of the stars and sun. These ritual observatories were locked to all but the high priests, and to ensure security, the combination to each door was inscribed on a stele in a completely different settlement. The stele that I have found it appears to be to a have long a game, right? For the observatory in the snake settlement inscribed upon it. I have sketched the pertinent glyphs for your perusal. Unfortunately, none of my research offers clues to the location of the snake or any other settlement. Now I have recently come into contact with an Andean guide named Luis Aruños. He claims to have come across the remains of a similar settlement, Mocha Moche, and he described numerous decorations featuring iconic spiders. Uh -huh. Also, he had in his possession several shards of terracotta pottery and slivers of obsidian that closely match the artifacts that I have uncovered in my dig. However, I noticed that one of the shards of pottery was different from every other sample of Peruvian pottery that has been found. The shard was white, and upon closer inspection, I determined the fragment to be composed of kale and clay glazed with feldspar which, as you know, was only produced in China during the time of Qin Shi Huang. Okay, we got a connection. I now. have included a tiny sample of this fragment. And if you could inspect it, Baron, I'm sure you'll agree that it is, in fact, a piece of pottery from the time of the first emperor. This adds credence to your theory that Chinese travelers visited South America during the time of Master Lu. Incidentally, it may only be a coincidence, but shortly after my discovery, I noticed a man trailing me throughout Lima. Ooh. I attempted to approach him on at least two occasions, but each time he disappeared before I was able to get a look at him. Please let me know if you think that this is related to your investigation into Master Lu. In any case, sure, Louise has agreed to guide me to the spider settlement, and we are to depart as soon as I have sent a preliminary draft of my paper to the International Archaeology Society. It is my sincere hope that you will be well enough to join me soon, as I feel I am on the verge of a monumental discovery that will put me in company with the likes of Carter and Schliemann. Humbly yours, yeah, Dr. Jorge Menendez, never to be seen Professor again. Emerit, Pre-Columbian Archaeology, National University of San Marcos, Lima. Well, maybe I should Feldspath, have a chat with him. Eureka, 
Lou must have been in Peru, the lost city of Mocha Moche. Must do wire Menendez immediately, wire Ripley, sequester key important, sink it, put it to bed, the lone couch of his everlasting sleep. What? <laughs> uh, okay. I think that big transparent image of the host is getting to the performance of the scene. <laughs> uh, I bet if we leave this room it will all be fine again. Okay, what do we have left? There are buttons and let's take a microscope. For some out. reason the microscope has been bolted in place. <laughs> okay, we get another puzzle here. Uh, well... Maybe we should put something on there. The emerald. The letters T I and X E. That's all. Okay. T I X E. That might have something to do with the periodic table, right? Uh, but first, let's push a button. Aha. Uh -huh, okay. Eh. Uh. <laughs> Uh, T I X E T I X E. Uh, no. I worked hard to rig that. Yeah. I'll leave it where it is for now. T I. Oh, yikes. T I. Is that right? One point three, maybe one three, and oh, I don't know X X E X E X E now, right? That's just a zero. How do I get four numbers out of that? I mean, it's number 64. And what's that? 81, 64, 81. Um, damn it, let me check again. 64, 81. The letters TI and XE. TI, okay, 84, 61. Okay. This totally uh, 61. This totally reminds me of one of the puzzles of Curse of the Old Gods, the game I did myself. <laughs> there you had only to get three numbers right, but it was also one of the puzzles that most people struggled with. Okay, so this didn't do anything. Um, maybe we can open the door now. That won't work. No. Uh, okay, let me have another look at the table. So hard to read that I'm not sure if that was correct. Tellium is that T I? I'm not hundred percent sure if it is. Could also be T L or something. And the other numbers. I mean, don't think it's the weight. Because uh, that's I mean five or three letters, so I think it's the number. Eight one. Eight one six four. Okay, I think uh, I did a mistake. I made a mistake here. Eight one six four. Eight one six four. Oh, okay. I'm so bad at remembering stuff. <laughs> I really should take notes for these kinds of puzzles. And eight one six four. Nothing happened. Did I screw this up again? I think I'm going to take notes here. <laughs>
I worked hard to rig that. I'll leave it where it is for now. Yeah, whatever. Okay. First of all, let me take a no, not with the garden hose, with the microscope. The letters T I and X E. That's all. Okay, we got T I, X E in that order. I've written that down. No. You can't do that. I mean use it with this. No. That's a long shot. Okay. So X E is sixty fifty. Ah, that's a five. Okay, that's fifty-four. Fifty-four, yeah. And TI still think it's tallium. I mean I could no, uh, it's titanium all the way over there. Okay, so it's twenty-two. Twenty-two fifty-five. Okay, written that down. <laughs> now we should be able to open this thing, right? I mean that puzzle at least makes sense to me. <laughs> Uh, though it takes forever to enter the numbers. Let's faster in my game. You don't have all these fancy animations. <laughs> Almost there, and that should be it. 22, 55. Still no feedback if it was right. <sighs> that won't work. Do we have to do something more here? Maybe push push the microscope. <laughs> yeah, no, that doesn't help. Damn it, that Kind of made sense to me. I mean, I could try it the other way around, but it was TI first and XE second. <laughs> Let me see again if I got those numbers right. Okay, we got the titanium over here. That's the 10th and the 20th. So it is 2-2. Two, two. It might also be the weight, but no, because xenon has a weight of zero. I don't think that would be right. So I would expect it to be the numbers, especially because it's hard to read and but you can make out those numbers. 54, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, and 22. Hmm. Quite sure this is right. Mm. I mean, I could do some uh, some variation of those numbers. Try to spell it backwards or something. I mean, that's long shot, but or maybe we do. Uh, we switch the two elements there. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing a little guessing game here. It's weird. I th really thought that made sense. Ah, okay, it was backwards. T I and X E spelled backwards. You have exit. Oh. Exactly what I planned to do. Yeah. Okay, I didn't catch that. Ow. <laughs> Exit. All right. <laughs> I think the game designers felt really clever there. Well, we're finally out of the room. Hooray. Oh, no. What now? It's oh, we are in the... Dark in here. We are in Ripley, the mausoleum. If you've locked yourself in a safe or the old Baron's private dungeon, they may never find your body. 
Is the Romanov curse at work on me already? It's too bad that I annoyed the gardener and Ow. he's not going to What's look this? for me now. Stairs leading up. I really hope it's not a dead end. I would be so furious if it is. I mean, there should be some side sunlight coming through the grates, right? Oh, no, okay. Well, <laughs> that's that. Okay, then, yeah, I guess with that I'm going to take a break here. Well, first, let me save the game. And I say, thanks for stopping by. Hope you enjoyed the show. If you did, consider following the channel. And with that, see ya.